today I'll be turning an old dog yard into a chicken yard here on Drink Smoke Build after this. Welcome back to the channel you guys. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for the algorithm and mashy mashy on the notification bell so you can get more of our content when we upload it. So today I'm going to be taking our old dog yard and turning it into a chicken yard. We need a relatively safe place for our chickens to run and forage and be chickens instead of being cooped up in a tiny 8x8 run which is the main reason why we got rid of chickens the first time. Well, we had a dog when we had the chickens before and she has passed on over the rainbow bridge and we now have an open yard that we can use for the chickens. But we have to do quite a bit of work to make sure that they can't get out, predators can't get in, and that they are protected from aerial predators like hawks. And we do have those in the area. So I'll address that first. What we'll be doing is the old dog porters that you can see down here, we will take the gates off of those and we will set those in the middle of the yard, the opening facing different directions so that wherever they are around these, they will only be four or five feet from protection from aerial predators. We are also going to be putting in uh, an old coop uh, that we're just going to take the chicken wire off and everything and we're going to actually put it up against the side of the garage over here but first you can see down there i have some boards laying up against um, i've got some uh, rotten siding so instead of going to buy a bunch of new siding i'm just going to patch that up with plywood all the way across the bottom i'm going to do that here on time lapse in just a second but uh, we're also going to have to encase the air conditioner in uh, some sort of cage. What we're going to use is actually cattle fencing. And then I'm going to put some uh, galvanized steel mesh on that because even the cattle fencing is about six by six. Some of the birds could get through there and we don't want them on top of the air conditioner pooping and causing problems. So we will definitely encase that so that they aren't on that and then we'll also trim that tree up that's next to the ac so that they can't get up in there and hop over the fence now i know the fence is only four feet high so they could theoretically get up over the fence but uh, if that happens i'm just going to build another two foot barrier on top of that using galvanized steel mesh i've got a lot of excess around here so it wouldn't cost me anything and i can get that up real quick if i need to but i don't think we're really going to have that problem now i do have some gaps down on the fence around the gate area that i want to make sure are covered by galvanized steel mesh because of the foxes and cats we have in the area i don't want them getting in here uh, through those holes so I'm going to be patching those up as well and then the last stage is we're going to take this gate and fence piece and we're going to strap it to the porch so that the chickens aren't getting up on our back porch and still have access to the back porch through the yard we'll have a, a gate on there all right guys so I'm going to start the time lapse on cutting up these boards and getting them tacked up against the wall and so uh, we'll see you guys on the flip side My batteries are low so I'm going to go charge them and while I do that I'm gonna time lapse putting up the chicken wire and strapping the gate up to the uh, porch as well as putting the air conditioner uh, cage around it and trimming up that tree
there you have it. The yard is prepared and ready for the chickens. It's no longer a dog yard, it is now a chicken yard and we've got everything in place to keep them safe and keep them from getting out. So for the most part. Now again, like I said earlier, if on the top of that gate I need to add another couple of feet of galvanized steel mesh, I can. But for the time being, I think that'll do the trick. I trimmed that tree back so that they can't get up on any branches and then jump up onto the fence. We got the cattle fence around the air conditioner. I have not put any galvanized steel mesh in there. I'm wondering if this will be enough deterrent to keep them out of there. We are going to keep an eye on them really close when they're out here because of the aerial predators. Of course, we're going to have the dog porters open and sitting around we're gonna put a small chicken coop that's covered right there that they can come in and out of real quickly they have this really bushy tree area back there they can go under so they really shouldn't have too much of a concern in terms of the aerial predators because they're always going to be within four to five feet of a um, underhang of some sort that they can get protection from so let's go ahead and take a look at what else we've done. If you see there on the flashing behind me, I have dropped down some plywood to keep the chickens from going in the garage. And then over here, I have put steel mesh. I'm gonna flip this around and show you. I have galvanized mesh that I have screwed down over here and buried except for right there it's super hard under there this is where the water flows out from the rain when it comes off of the roof so I wanted to make sure there was still some free flow there for the water to drain out and not flood the whole yard on the flashing here you guys can see I just threw just an old piece of plywood a bunch of actually bunch of trim pieces from an old job I did and they're all the same height so I just stuck them up there cut off the last one and fit it around the gas pipe into the garage sealed up the old garage door there so we don't have them going in that way this already has chicken wire all the way around it just went and inspected it to make sure it wasn't coming loose back here there was some galvanized mesh already up but it wasn't tacked up and I tacked it all the way up against the fence even around the tree to keep anything from coming in this way so we are going to keep a pretty strong eye on them over the next few weeks and they're only going to be out here during the day so we really aren't going to have to worry too much about a lot of predators like foxes and cats and stuff because they won't be out hunting during the day and as you can see here we wanted to be able to access our porch which as you can tell we use for storage and at the same time not have to worry about the birds pooping on everything so we have put up this gate here with the fence so that they can't get up and then this will close and latch but can get it to latch maybe not may have to uh, use like a chain and lock or something but that's okay as long as we can still access the porch this way and keep the chickens from getting up there so basically we are done we've got the air conditioner taken care of we've got the galvanized mesh on the gate area oh I want to show you that as well I'll flip it around again on the gate I have put a piece of galvanized mesh so that when it swings shut we don't have to worry about anything trying to crawl in uh, there again I didn't bury that I mean obviously it couldn't because it's a gate but I didn't put any sort of brick down or anything to keep them from digging because we're gonna be out here and again it's gonna be during the day the chickens are going to go in their locked up coop at night so we're not really gonna have to worry about any predators digging in here during the day like foxes or cats so that's it you guys the chicken yard is finished let's bring some chickens in here I want to thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure you mashy mashy on the like button don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time one of our videos drops 
let's get these chickens in here and let them play for a little bit. So it's been about an hour since we've let the chickens into the chicken yard. Don't think that they've discovered the water yet, but it is a different water container, so we may have to bring their tub from their coop over here just so that they'll actually drink. So we may do that here in a little bit, but they are having a great time in the yard and adjusting well. Doesn't seem to be too shocked from the move. So I'm gonna flip this around and I am going to show you the chickens and show you their new yard. And I'm going to have my wife tell you about the breeds, about the chickens. Um, they are all, right now they're about 15 weeks old and uh, 14 15 weeks old and she's going to tell you about their breeds and kind of uh, how they came to be and why some of them are skinnier than others and that kind of stuff stuff that's new to me i don't know a lot about chicken she's the chicken researcher so we're going to turn it over to here and flip it around and let you see the chicken okay uh, we don't have names for them all yet we have two roosters and we have 10 hens okay You can see the little white ones. Now, I'm not exactly sure what those are. They're some kind of hybrid, some kind of leghorn mix, uh, possibly green life bar. They might lay blue eggs, which might be neat. We've got six black sex leaves, which lay beautiful brown eggs with gloves. Um, and they're really turning out to be beautiful. Buff Orpington. Now we've had Buff Orpingtons before, but she was the only one out of a mixed bin that we got. And um, let's see, the two roosters and one of our bullets, I believe, are white-faced black Spanish chickens, which are a really old breed. Um, so they're kind of skittish, kind of wild not too too personable but they the roos seem to know what they're doing and do their job well as far as telling all the hens what to do <laughs> so anyway um I think that's about all I have all right well there you have it you guys there's our little flock of chickens you guys make sure you like this video for my lovely wife coming on and doing some content with me today. You want to tell everybody, say hey, and don't forget to like, drink, smoke, build. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, drink, smoke, build.